Hello guys and welcome back to Salmon Gaming with the uh, the second game of Lee Sin that I promised you I would do if, if people were interested in seeing it. And you were. A couple, of, a couple of you guys told me that you would like to see it and, and therefore I'll do it because that's the kind of guy I am. Anyway, uh, I've, I've been asked to go into a few different things about this game but we'll get to that a little bit later. Uh, for starters we'll just go through the basics. You start out with boots, three pots if you have a solid pull because that will help your early ganks and you will then gank level 2 top or mid now this this is one of the most important things when playing in a, a jungler like Lee Sin as I've already told you his strength is in the early game if he can snowball his lanes that is how he is a positive influence on the game it is simply what he does if 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 you do not gank early, if you do not snowball your lanes, he's no not really much use because he falls off late game. There are way stronger late game junglers, for example Maokai and probably a couple of others that I can't really think of right now. But yeah, in general you want to gank with him early and that is why you, you tend to start with boots, three pots whenever possible. So anyway, we're just going to let it play out here. I'm going to censor the camera on me for a bit because, well, I'm lazy and that's easier for me to do. So anyway. Oh yeah, as you saw, I was scouting over here early game just to see if there was an invade. Uh, it is very smart for the top lane to stand here early game and the uh, the bot lane to cover these two entrances as well. Just to make sure you don't get invaded and, and so that your team has the opportunity to react if you indeed get invaded. Not necessarily react, but you have the opportunity to do so. Anyway, uh, as we see here, I start out with red, as we always do. And since I'm again playing with Dorn and the two bot guys, I quickly communicate. I'm going to gank your lane level 2, so that's what I'm doing. I'm running in, and as, you, as normal, go in, hit him with the E first, so you're guaranteed the hit. And there we get the flash. As soon as I see the flash, you just back out. Because you did your job. That is the only thing. The, the level 2 gank can give you two things. And this is guaranteed. If you do it right, it's guaranteed. You're either going to get a kill. Or you're going to get summoners blown. If you get summoners blown. You gank again ASAP. If you get a kill. Well, then depending on what lane it is. You... You either gank again or don't gank again. If it's a lane you want to snowball hard, you gank again. If it's a lane that at, from that point on can snowball itself, you just let them be and focus on another lane. What you don't want to do is focus on a lane that doesn't need you or where you cannot make a difference. For example, if your bot lane is behind by 10 kills, as we've been going over previously, it doesn't help that you gank that lane because you're not going to be able to make that difference. Now as you can see, I'm back in the jungle just farming. I didn't do the blue because I did take one or two tower hits. So I'm quite low, so I'm just going to clear out what I can, then base and buy. Uh, and, and then after that, go get the blue buff or indeed trade it to the mid lane to help him even further at this point. Now we can see the new Katarina here giving him a f a quite a bit of problems. Both of them on zero healing potions despite the fact that I ganked early. And, and we can see Endorn here quite pressured in that lane. I, I, I will say in his defense though that Keshape is not one of his strongest champions. So we do have to keep that in mind as we can see here. Bot lane pretty much just going about their business. I, I rarely gank bot lane and, and this is a bad example game but yeah here I tell mid lane to come get the blue buff. He's going to let those creeps die to turret. Sometimes you want to try to avoid that but in this case I mean, it's it's okay. Sadly though, I get it with the red buff, so he kind of fucked up, but yeah. I mean, that's what happens. I get the XP, so it's not too bad. But that means, however, that I need to, to put more focus into mid lane. Because he doesn't have that early advantage blue buff, which means that he is going to be set behind a no mana champion. As Katarina can continuously use her abilities, without having to worry about cost and such. Anyway. Uh, getting back here, I see that casual player is low on mana, so I just tell him back out and I'll go mid lane and hold it for you Because that way I get some mana whenever any one of your lanes back 
if you're close enough to go up there and get one or two last hits, do it because the the XP you gain in lanes higher than you get in the jungle. Uh, overall, I, I, of course, if you just farm your jungle really fast, one pass through the jungle will give more XP in the same amount of time, I believe, than the mid lane. However, there are longer spawn times on the jungle, and you can do the the, the lanes faster, and you lose less XP. Any minion that dies to turret without anyone being there is lost XP. But as we can see here, I come down again, and it seems like Katarina has backed out. So I just choose to back myself. Because I don't really want to waste any time now. I do I do choose to go up towards top lane here because I do see that Mordekaiser is, is pushing quite heavily. So I want to try to make something happen here. Chogath is in a pretty good shape, so I'm not too worried about him. So all I want to do here is just make as much... Put as much pressure on this lane as possible. As we see that the flash comes out, I use my exhaust. No, uh, the ghost comes out. So I use my exhaust on top of my E to get him really, really slowed so we can secure the kill and then just take him down, obviously. As you saw, we take him down. It's pretty simple, pretty easy. But you gotta do it right. Again, as you saw, as I keep telling you, just run in, use your E, and secure that Q hit. Because if you just run up, use your Q, there's a really big chance you're gonna miss. And that's going to fuck up your gank and means that they can get away without using summoners. Or with only using summoners and not losing any health in that lane. So there's that. Anyway, after the gank up top, just back in to farm the jungle. Since mid still pushed towards Katarina's side. Now Katarina here pushing, putting on some, some pressure here. And Endorn fucking up greatly. Idiot. Whatever. <laughs> We're not here to learn mid lane right now. Anyway, as we can see here, Katarina die, uh, what, Kashopea dies, so I just come into the lane, see if I can't make something happen, or at least just pick up the experience. Now, I'm a bit low, so I don't really want to put, try to make too, too big plays happen. So I just sit back, grab as much experience as possible while being safe and not feeding his lane. Alright, anyway, uh, one of you guys, I don't really remember the name, but one of you guys asked me, uh, item builds for Lee Sin, uh, what is what, what do you do? Uh, and, and as I've said before, uh, it, it depends on the game. In this game we have Katarina, we have Mordekaiser, we have Maokai, uh, Malphite, and we have Teemo. So there's a lot of AP in this team. Now if we look at them, there is a blind, but there's a knock up, no CC, and knock up and no CC. So the the uh, the the crowd control reduction boots. Something grieves. Let's just check it out real quick. Wait, can't we do that? Oh, that's pause. I can't. Uh, oh, apparently, I can't open the shop. But you know the ones, the ones that give resistance and re and uh, tenacity. Those are the ones you want to get. Anyway, we see top here being ganked, so I just run up here, get a Q on to. To Mordekaiser. In this case, I cannot run up and use my E, so I choose to Q him. Now, one of the <laughs> one of the things you you would like to be good at is hitting your skill shots, because that really helps you out. And we managed to pick up a double kill with assist for Chokath on both of them. So, as as I as I've been telling you, never lead with Q, but sometimes you don't have a choice. Sometimes you don't have the opportunity to come in behind them and get the slow one first. So you have to be able to do the Q. Sometimes you're gonna miss, it's just what's gonna happen, but when it lands, it lands, and that's what you want to happen. Now, back to the item build. Uh, you wanna go for whatever you can get against your team. Now, as we can see, they don't have a lot of CC that you can reduce, but the magic resist of the... the boots, we don't care what they're called, the boots... does help. It is a pretty big expense though, you got to keep this in mind. The price of those boots compared to the others is really, really high. But against a team that's pretty much mainly AP, I normally choose to go it because it's an early resistance boost that really helps out. Anyway, I come in here, get the Q on. Actually, let's back up a bit. And then just follow me. Now, let me slow it down a bit. Now, I see her pushing mid lane here. Wow, it's really slowed. I'm gonna use this, like, oh, it looks awesome. She's really slowed. I just cleared my wraiths. So you see me come in here. Now, I throw the Q from up there. She cannot see me. Now she sees me. 
But it's too late. Already got the Q on and then finish off with the E. So that is like... that, And that is again the... the uh, why I'm sick so my, my mind doesn't work properly. That is the... God damn it, whatever. Keeping your eyes on the lanes helps you. <laughs> God damn it, I can't remember how to speak. Anyway, you, you want to keep your mind on all the lanes, know what's going on and when, when and where to gank, as we've gone on with previously. And that just netted us a kill in mid lane, an easy kill at that. So we pick up the blue buff, I tell Kashapaya come down for the dragon because we just killed Katarina, our bot lane isn't there but we can easily back out and we can see the enemy champions right here quite low on Teemo and, and the other one is not too low and Kashapaya is a quick dragon killer so it's a pretty safe dragon and if they indeed came we had the opportunity to fight them because as we know Teemo is low and Katarina is not in mid anyway I jumped down towards bot lane but I don't want to follow I never like to take any chances I don't know where their their jungler is, so I could follow here, but maybe their jungler was coming up here for a gank. I don't know this, so I choose to back off instead of taking a chance. And this is this is one of the things I do a lot. I don't like to take take risks in games. And and this is mainly because oftentimes when you play in solo queue, for example, you have to carry the game. So if you take risks and fail you're going to be dragging your team down and going to be unable to carry. Sometimes it's going to pay off, sometimes it's not. I just choose to play safely more often than not because generally my mechanics are better than the people I play against so I en end out on top of CS or whatever. So anyway here, pretty good gank coming in on Cash of Payer here. So I just choose to go in, see if I can get a little bit of damage off but they, they, they're too high. Cash of Payer didn't get enough damage off. So again, we just play it safe, I back up to the turret and CS as much as possible. Anyway, our bot lane here, going cray. Alright, so back to the item pills. The, the, <laughs> I keep switching around a lot, but that's, that's ADHD for you. Anyway, or ADD, or whatever you want to call it. Anyway, yeah, let's see what happens here. Bot lane is getting pushed a bit, I, I see this happening. So I just choose to come down here. I shield to a minion. Because this means that I can get up behind Katarina. She sadly gets the, uh, whatchamacallit. And the Shunpo away from my Q. But with a double exhaust to pick up the kill and the double kill for Tristana. Which means that she is now fit to foot. So, again we did our job. We come into the lane, we make a difference. We get our lane ahead. And their gank failed, which means that she lost minions and experience in mid, plus she didn't get any bonus out of going bot lane. And that means that my mid lane is going to have a much easier time now than if she had gotten a kill bot lane or if she had stayed in mid. Now, this is this is all... There's, there's a... Uh, <laughs> well, let's just call it, because I can't think right now, let's call it expense reward. Com like committed in every gank for jungle and lane alike when you leave your lane you're gonna lose lane gold and lane XP so if the gank doesn't pay off you're at a deficit if you leave your jungle to do a gank you're not farming your camps so if the gank doesn't pay off you're gonna be at a, at a deficit however if you make you if, if you give your lane an advantage you're gonna be on a positive whatever you know you know what I mean Anyway, back to the item builds. What I like to do is I like to build uh, Trinity Force if I'm ahead. If my team is ahead, I like to build Trinity Force. If my team is behind, I like to build Frozen Mallet because that gives me extra tank. And then evolve into whatever is going to help me against their team. Now, as you can see here again, I'm sitting here. I'm waiting for a good chance. I don't want to try to queue in. Now, she shouldn't post up. This means she can't shouldn't pull out. A little bit of a fail here from uh, Casual Player. But, as we can see there, I want to show this. Can I? Okay, I can only jump back 15 seconds. So we're just going to do this the, the old-fashioned way. Now, we see it here. I'm just going to show you this because I think it's sexy. <laughs> and, and I want to see it. I don't really care if you want to see it or not. Anyway, as always, run up to the champion. She has no other escape, so just run up and E. I Q, I ultimate, and I Q again for the kill. And casual player survives. 
Now, I could have probably interrupted that ultimate faster, but I didn't, and she still survived, so it was good enough. Now, had had I waited longer and the ultimate had killed Cassiopeia, it would have been a, a bad thing. So, all in all, it could have been better, but it was good enough. So, like, we come out ahead. Win-win. Anyway, as I was saying, you want to build... After Triforce or Frozen Mallet, you want to build to fit the team you're up against. For example, if we were behind against this team, for example, I would probably go Frozen Mallet and then go into something with resistance. I can't go into the shop again. But anything that evolves from a Negatron, Negatron Cloak would probably be my, my ideal buy after going Frozen Mallet. Because after that, I would have the increased health, the slow to help me chase down people in team fights or slow people off my carries in team fights. And I would also have... I'm just going to lock the camera on me. And I would also have the resistance to let me tank more in those team fights. Now, this is one of the things I've been saying throughout most of my videos. And, and this is the thing that's true. You want to build to fit your opposing team. And, and it's quite easy to do. It, it takes a quick look. If we take a look here, for example. Okay, let's take <laughs> we take a look down here. Fucking new system. Whatever. I'm going to log on me first. If we take a look down here, let's say we're behind. And I have a look here. I see Timo. He's going melee, but he's highly based on AP. But he is an AD carry at this point. I look at Malphite. He does AD and AP alike. But he's mainly focused on AP with the ultimate and whatnot. We have Wukong, he's AD. We have Ka Katarina, who's a carry. She is important and she is AP. Carries like Tristana, Kashapea, or whatever. Those are the ones you really want to focus, focus on. The tanks, like Malphite, are not super important, but they need to be factored in if they have strong crowd control and whatnot. But as we can see here, Katarina is a carry and she's AP. So we take that into account. And Mordekaiser is a, a tanky carry, but still a carry, and he's also AP. So if we're behind, I want to get resistance. Because if I just build the normal... Yeah, another great Q on there. That was great. Awesome. If I just build the Triforce into more damage, into more damage, I can jump into that team fight and I'll instantly die. It doesn't help that I build damage. I need to be able to keep them off my carries and take their damage until my carries can kill them off. This is my job as Lee Sin. And a lot of the junglers are the same way. A lot of the junglers are bruiser-ish tanks or damage tanks or whatever. Or can at least be built that way. Like, for example, Nocturne can be built. A little tank can still do good damage. Mal Maokai is a pure tank jungler. You can build him AP, but is nowhere near as effective as a pure tank Mal Maokai. So there are some tanks and there are some bruiser-ish tanks and there are probably a few full damage junglers but in general most junglers can be built with tankiness as a side note alright so I, I hope we got that settled. If, if there are any more questions about item builds and whatnot oh, that's so close if there are any more questions about item builds and whatnot just like Put them in the comments and I'll add them. I hear, because we're on Skype, I tell him to go right around, I go left around. I just want to make sure she doesn't get out of the jungle. And as we see here, Dorn gets in, finds him, and I just go down there and take the kill because, well, I'm awesome. And I want the kill, so I take it because I'm awesome. Anyway, yeah, that's what you want to keep in mind. Just build to fit your... Build to fit your opponents and gank to give your lanes an advantage. Don't gank to get your lanes back in the game because more often than not that will not work. Alright. So we got all that under control now. Anyway. Uh, I think this game is almost over. Yeah, it looks like it. We have a little more time though. So, again, if, if you guys have any questions whatsoever, just put them in the comments or whatever and I'll be sure to either answer them in the comment section or include them in any future videos I may or may not do. So, anything you're confused about that I have mentioned, or in general, just let me know. And I'll drop that knowledge on your head, you know?
be a good guy about it. Alright, so let's just see this game play out to the finish of those... Well, not even 20 minutes, somehow. I'm not really sure why I didn't get the last 20 minutes. Maybe it's a bug. I don't know. Anyway. <coughs> what happens over pause? Nothing. It just doesn't have 20 minutes. Anyway. Oh, that Q. Did you see that Q? I want to see that Q again because, well, I'm, I, I like myself. So I see Katarina is there. Because, well, we knew that. Now look at this. Look at this. I shield to catch up here. I queue up and, and graze her, but I still hit her. And then... Wow, that's so gorgeous. I mean, the plays, the big plays. <laughs> anyway. Uh, and and, and Doran just talking smack, even though he's getting like his ass kicked in lane and I'm carrying him like a mouse. <laughs> no hate on Endoran. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. Oh, well. The other team just waiting for the 20 minutes. And as we can see, we're a 3 and 6 team. Really, really greatly winning this game. And there's the surrender. So the game actually did go further. Rawr. Rawr. Alright, guys. So thanks for watching. As always, if you enjoyed the video, if you found it helpful or just entertaining, please leave it a like. And until next time, have a good day.